And as you guys can see, you guys already have a cool shape that you can use. But if you guys want to make it look even better, then keep watching the video. What's up, guys? It's Instinct here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make these abstract shapes in Cinema 4D. If you guys like how this turned out, then definitely keep watching the video as I show you guys how to make this. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so here is an example one that I just did a few minutes ago, and I'll be showing you guys how to create something kind of like this. Alright, so what you guys want to do is you guys want to hold down on this blue cube right here and get a platonic. Once you guys have a platonic, go ahead and select Bucky. Once you guys have this, go ahead and hold down right here and choose Atom Array and drag the platonic onto the Atom Array. Make sure the arrow is pointing down, like so. Go ahead and click on the atom array and go ahead and change the sphere radius to 2. Once you guys have this, go ahead and go over to this blue little thing right here. Hold down on this and select the displacer. Once you guys have a displacer, go ahead and drag it onto the atom array, like so. And actually drag it onto the platonic where the arrow is pointing down. Once you guys have this, go ahead and go to shading. Click this arrow right here and choose noise. Alright, so now what you guys can do is go ahead and click Object and change the strength and as you see it kind of warps it around a little bit. Go with something like 48%, 46%, something like that and go ahead and increase the uh, height up until you get something kind of cool, like kind of like that. That looks pretty cool. And as you guys can see, you guys can start, actually go ahead and click on the Atom Array and then you guys can rotate it around and get some really cool looking things like this. And as you guys can see, you guys already have a cool shape that you can use. But if you guys want to make it look even better, then keep watching the video. Alright, so now what you guys want to do is you guys want to go to MoGraph and click Cloner. Once you guys have a cloner, go ahead and drag the Atom Array into the cloner. Go ahead and minimize this. Go ahead and check the cloner. And now what you guys can do is go to Mode and set this to Radial. Once you guys have set it to radial, you'll notice that it is basically kind of gotten bigger. Now what you guys can do is go ahead and increase the count a ton, something like that, and you guys will get the effect that you guys saw at the beginning of the video. Something kind of cool like this. And if you guys keep increasing it, it will get even better, like, like cleaner, I guess you guys can say. And you guys can play around with this, change this to like bend or something. And yeah, you guys can get some really, really cool shapes. Something like that looks really cool. So now what you guys can do is go ahead and check a material onto this. Go ahead and check cubic and seamless. Now this will probably take a very long time to render though. That's kind of the downside. But nonetheless, you guys do have a really cool looking shape. And it is definitely worth the render time to render this bad boy. So... That is pretty much it for the tutorial guys. If you guys like this tutorial, please make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video guys. Peace.